This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. History was made on Wednesday night at the Grand County International Airport when Japan's first new commercial aircraft in decades finally touched down on American soil. People can hear from candidates on October 10th in Moses Lake. Folks in Grand County can get their first taste of the fall at the 5th Annual Fall Fest at Afreda's Cloudview Farms on Saturday. From the iFiber One Newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. History was made on Wednesday night at the Grand County International Airport when Japan's first new commercial aircraft in decades finally touched down on American soil. The Mitsubishi Regional Jet Prototype arrived in Moses Lake after delays pushed back its arrival in the United States to begin flight certification with the Federal Aviation Administration. The Port of Moses Lake rolled out the red carpet, providing a water cannon rainbow as the jet pulled up to the 65,000 square foot hangar that will house it and three other planes for the next four years. Mitsubishi officials said the planes have to undergo about 2,500 hours of testing to gain FAA certification. Port of Moses Lake Commission President David Ken Jones was among those pleased to see the plane at the Grand County International Airport. As you're aware, Japan Airlines left here and the last time I saw a plane go under the water that the fire trucks were putting out was a very sad day because that was the, uh, the departure of the last JAL plane. And I can tell you, it's a great feeling today to watch the MRJ come through there and uh, the, the work that Aerotech and Mitsubishi, and every, I guess it's time for everybody to go to work for real now. We've just been practicing to this point. In Moses Lake, Devin Higgins for iFiber One News. People can hear from candidates on October 10th in Moses Lake. Moses Lake Chamber of Commerce is holding a candidates forum at the Columbia Basin Technical Skills Center located at 900 East Yonezawa Boulevard. The event starts at 6.30 and lasts until 8.30 p.m. The forum features candidates running for Grant County Commissioner Districts 1 and 2 and for Grant County Superior Court Judge Position 1. The candidates can present opening statements, and then the forum moderator will ask each candidate two questions provided by the event's sponsors. Following the sponsors' questions, attendees can submit questions for the candidates. For more information, contact the chamber at 509-765-7888. For iFiber One News, this is Cameron Probert reporting. Folks in Grand County can get their first taste of the fall at the 5th Annual Fall Fest at Afreda's Cloudview Farms on Saturday. The Fall Fest runs from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. and is free to all ages. Cloudview farmer Carly Thompson talked about how the festival came about and the events that are on tap. The reason that we started doing the Fall Festival was to reach out to the community and that's, that's our mission here is to help people connect with their food and we serve the farmer's market and... The, we have a CSA program where people pick up a box of food once a week here on the farm. So we want our food to be eaten by people in Afreda, and we want people in Afreda, Soap Lake, Moses Lake, to be coming out to the farm and enjoying this place where we grow their food, too. This is the fifth annual, so if you haven't been already, you've already missed four. And we've got a great band coming. We've got bagpipers. We've got uh, apple cider, hay rides pumpkin patch and it's very well attended it's a lot of fun and again it's there's no charge to come so come on out more information is available on cloudview farms website in afreda devin higgins for ifiber one news Even though technically it's fall, we've got some pretty nice days coming up here in the basin. Hi, Jeff Slakey, taking a look at the forecast from the iFiber One Weather Center. Clear skies for your Monday and 85. That continues into Tuesday and Wednesday with clear conditions and the low to mid 80s. Thursday, partly cloudy and 79. Clear skies on Friday into the weekend, the 60s. This look at the forecast is brought to you by Barry Motors. Located in Afreda, Wenatchee, and Moses Lake, Barry Motors is one great place place to buy a car. For iFiber One News, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.